When you're working in Unity, you're going to want to switch between different scenes in order to load different levels or possibly menus and various different bits of content. You'll need to be able to switch between them by using application.loadLevel. We can use this command in a script. In this example, I have a box that falls onto a floor using the rigid body and I have a separate scene file called game over which just looks like this. It's basically got a green background color in the camera and a GUI text saying you win. If I switch back to my level scene in a moment, what I need to do is to write a script in order to switch between those two. So if I make a new JavaScript, I'm just going to call this load level and hit edit. What I might want to do is to make the box hitting the floor call that loading level. So I'm going to do the usual collision enter example. So function on collision enter and I'll make a variable called my collision to represent whatever it hits. So I'm going to apply this script to the box. So I'll say if my collision dot game object dot name is equal to floor then we need to load a level and we'll say application so that's the game that's running dot load level and into that I'll pass the name of the other file so if I look back at my project briefly I can see that it was called game over and I'll need to use this name in order to call it in. So if I save that now, switch back to Unity and drag that file onto the box, when the box hits the floor the other level will be loaded. Or will it? Let's have a look. Let's press play and I will see an error at the bottom. It says level game over couldn't be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings. So basically when you test your game and you're working with the application class you have to load things into the build settings. Build settings are where you list any uh, scene files that you want to be included in the final build of the game that you export. So if I go to file build settings and include both my game over and my level, I'll put the level before it in the list of things to build and then simply close that. When I try it again it changes scene. Okay, So Unity requires that you do the due diligence and actually place that level, that scene file into the build settings. One more thing just to make this script a little bit more efficient. In case we wanted to use this um, function more than once we might want to be able to set it in the inspector. So with that I could write a member variable, I might call it my level, and it's going to be of type string. Remember string is uh, text or numerical data. So instead of that term there, I can write my level into the brackets of load level. Then when I look back at the inspector, I have a variable called my level. And into that I can write the name of whichever level I want to apply it to. So this script could then be used a number of different times and I could simply change the name of the level which was being loaded. So let's try that again and just make sure it works. And there you go. So that's basic using application.load level to switch scenes in Unity.